Grass, water, cattle, horses, dust, a campfire, and a coffee pot. These things made up the cowboy's home. He was a rugged, tough breed of man. He was generally considered more or less at home sleeping in a rainstorm than in a bunkhouse by a warm fire. Now, nobody knows exactly when the name cowboy came about, but men began wearing it over 120 years ago. The south of Texas is considered to be the place where men first handled cattle from horseback, and there were herds of cattle so wild and so mean that only a cowboy on horseback would or could get close enough to drop a rope over their horns. The cowboy was one of a kind. He spent more time with his horse than he did with women, and he seldom married. He worked 16 to 18 hours a day and loved adventure. He had a good sense of direction that took him over miles of prairie without a compass or a map. One of his most important trail jobs was branding cattle. Stock from all the ranches in the area roamed the range freely. Each one carried its owner's mark burned into its hide with a red-hot branding iron and each spring and fall a great roundup would take place with the different ranchers sorting out their cattle according to their own brands. And all these cattle would be counted, gathered into a herd, and driven over long trails to cattle markets. Now, a cowboy's clothes were simple. He didn't wear anything that wasn't necessary. His big felt hat served as an umbrella, a sunshade, a fan, and even a water bucket. And his shirt was usually the color of trail dust. His holster hung low on his hips, ready for a quick draw. The equipment the cowboy used was also practical. He carried a rope, a lariat, a knife, his gun, and a saddle. He preferred a six-shooter. A rifle was too heavy and clumsy, but sometimes he'd carry them both. Now, the cowboy's saddle was often more expensive than all his other equipment put together. It was made of fine, beautiful leather, often tooled with elaborate designs, and even decorated with silver. And the saddle horn was for roping, not holding on to when you're riding. The cowboy had a great affection for his horse. Though the horses belonged to the ranch, a string of eight or ten was assigned to him to ride, and nobody, but nobody, dared tamper with his string of mounts. The songs of the cowboy were almost always sad. The words were made up on night rides, when the cattle were bedded down, and two or more men would ride around them singing or humming. Now this would settle the cattle, and a lot of times prevented stampedes. The era of the cowboy came to a close by the appearance of railroads to haul the cattle to market and a barbed wire to enclose the wandering animals. Together, they ended the roundup of open range days and made the long cattle drive impractical and impossible. The new, improved breeds of cattle couldn't withstand the rough treatment the old longhorns did. The cowboy left tracks in history that even the farmer can't plow under. <laughs>